Hi everyone, this is Payana and welcome to my channel. I've said before the universe hates me. Up until now, I haven't been able to transfer any of the videos that I film onto my computer because it won't recognize my phone. My boyfriend managed to make it miraculously recognize my phone so then I could transfer my photos and my videos directly from my phone onto my computer, onto my external hard drive. The world was nice for half a second. And now it's my external hard drive that seems to be dying. Why? Please don't die now, external hard drive, because I am in confinement at the moment and all the shops are shut apart from the ones that sell food, so I can't go out and buy another external hard drive and I can't order one off the internet because there's no postal service. This really isn't the time. Anyway, today's book is The Bear Went Over the Mountain by William Coxwinkle. Yay! A university professor of literature takes a sabbatical in order to go and hide in a forest somewhere, the point of which is to write a novel, which he does rather successfully. Only after finishing the novel he decides that the best thing to do is to hide it in a case under a tree where it is found by a bear. The bear decides that this novel is brilliant and amazing and wants desperately to get it published in the world of men. So he steals it, goes into a shop, steals some clothes and pretends to be a man and then walks into an agent in order to get the book published. And the book is received really well by the literary world. Only the bear, who's not entirely au fait with the way humans work, has a bit of an odd attitude towards the people he works with and the interviewers and the whole media world. So the bear basically thinks that the, the wonderful thing about the human world is you can get food anytime. Like you can get honey in jars, you don't have to go and brave bees for it. And he basically only thinks about food. And I love the way everything he says is completely like overinterpreted by um, everyone in the literary world, because that is kind of what happens. And that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to study literature when I was at high school, because, you know, we'd get given a book and we had to, like, we were forced, like, we had to do this. And I'm sure everyone else was like forced to overanalyze it to the extreme to the point where you just thought surely not like surely the author didn't think this when he was writing this novel and a lot of the times they don't and authors have actually said this when they've seen their novels getting into curriculums and being saying all the kind of analyzing that goes around and they kind of look back and go no i didn't i didn't i didn't that wasn't the point like you've missed the point and so this, the bear, like, he'll be asked a question about the world, like, oh, what do you think of the society we live in? And he just goes, cake. And they're like, yeah, okay. He's a, and they interpret it as being, oh, yes, he thinks it's a, a piece of cake and he thinks this and he thinks that. And they just overanalyze everything he says. And so he comes across in the media as this kind of f f philosopher and genius. Um, he's just a bear who wants some cake. All the time the bear is cashing in the success of this novel that he's essentially stolen and pretended to be the author of. The original author, the real author, back in the forest, is going insane because his book has been stolen and actually ends up turning into a bear. So you've got the bear who's turning into a man because he's pretending to be an author in the human world and a man, a real author, who's now turning into a bear. Funny. Originally I bought this book because Terry Pratchett reviewed it and I'm an immensely huge fan of Terry Pratchett. I actually bought all my Terry Pratchett novels, or some of them. They're all up there. There they are. That's only about a third of them, if that, but yeah. Massive Terry Pratchett fan. Anything that he likes, I will read, I will sleep with. And he was definitely right about this one. So this is like, um... 
a sort of parody of w the literary world and all the kind of weird and stupid stuff that goes on in there, uh, which we don't normally, we don't necessarily think about when we're kind of readers. We see a book coming out um, and it gets really big really quickly. And uh, there's another kind of side of this that I, I kind of liked was at the beginning when the book gets released, um, everyone's like, oh yeah, I read your book and I thought it was amazing. Well, they haven't, they have, no one's kind of read it yet. Um, so yeah, how and all the kind of hypocrisy and just barefaced lying and sucking up that happens uh, behind the scenes, which I thought was very, very pleasing. And the way it's kind of, I mean, the bear's like not getting any of this at all, which is what makes it it's kind of so funny. Um, he's just wandering through life, waiting for his next cake to come along, whereas everyone else kind of sees him as this in incredible genius of writing. And uh, and he doesn't even see himself as a writer. Like he, he tries to, he wants to be a person. He wants to be a man. He doesn't even want to be a writer. He just wants the book to be available for everyone because he thinks it's brilliant uh, because it's about fishing and there's sex in it and uh, it's about nature and so he thinks it's perfect because it kind of reminds him of everything he knows not that we ever kind of truly get to know what the book's actually about but that doesn't really matter uh within the context of uh, of this story so yeah the bear went over the mountain uh it's nice to kind of have something funny uh for a change it's been a while since i've read a book like this that was kind of light-hearted and just silly um but also had some kind of you know true stuff behind it uh behind the scenes of the literary world and all the weird stuff that goes on there so yeah that was the bear went over the mountain by william coxwinkle